guys happy new month everybody my name is Villa Mama and this is Villa Mama TV in our previous video I promised to be bringing to us the many controversies that arose as a result of this roller coaster of alleged UK visa line scam involving Mama Atalaku and her husband Epe in global and some visa agents we have already covered in our previous video if you missed that video i am going to be dropping the link in the description box or pinned in the comment section so that you can click on it and catch up on all the gist on how the visa agents reacted to this outburst on social media and in this video we will be covering the many many controversies that arose in this whole saga so stay tuned guys because i have so much more coming your way that I could find in this whole saga was the giveaway controversy. A lot of platforms, social media users had taken to their keyboards to type derogatory statements accusing Mama Atalaku of having been a wicked, a greedy woman. That the lavish lifestyle she's, she's living in the UK, the gifts, the cars, the houses, the properties, the giveaways, all of that had been from people's <laughs> eh? Did I hear that correctly? <laughs> they said Mama Atalaku has been doing all the giveaways and the shocktalizations from people's monies, from monies they had been stealing from people, and then she will come on social media to blindfold people's eyes with giveaway so that the public will look at her to be this kind-hearted humanitarian, to be a very kind person, a giver. Meanwhile, she was something else. She was stealing from the people. It's against giveaway. Because what's that giveaway come on? What's that giveaway come on? The fight was against giveaway. And they thought giveaway up, giveaway down. You don't buy motor. So they are yesterday. So as usual, two camps were formed. Those who were for and those who were against. On the one hand, we had this group of people who supported and said, it is not today Mama Atalaku has been doing giveaways. She started doing giveaways since time immemorial. It is not today. Some on the other hand, they were like, okay, so all of these things that you have been showing us is from our pockets, it's from people's monies you've been stealing. <laughs> so they had diverse opinions and they were dragging and dragging Mama Atalaku. And Mama Atalaku on her part said, it means all along, from the hatred we have received on social media, <laughs> it means the fight was against giveaway. But you see me here, I'm not going to stop giving because it is part of me. Because I have mothers in America who love and support my platform. And they have told me countless times that they get their blessings from my platform when they help the less privileged people. So Mata Laku was like, okay, no matter how you guys attack me, I will never stop doing giveaways. And one of our prominent mommies also in the UK, she also had this to say. Them don't carry giveaway. Giveaway, my mother could not trace our giveaway. Now trace our giveaway. We are just ungrateful people. I don't know what to be wrong. Southern, um, uh, Southwest, um, uh, what are um, uh, Anglophones? We are very ungrateful. The second controversy that arose was attacking her friendship with Kobos. <laughs> Did you hear that name right? Yes, Mommy K, Kobos. <laughs> Kobos is also a Cameroonian influencer based in the UK. She just moved to the UK with her family. And it was through the same visa agent that she was able to procure this visa to the UK. Yeah, again, yeah, Kobos carries for Heathrow. Because if they do, if they do, they hide them from me. No time, they say Kobos, they can't have a family. They carry for Heathrow. The whole Kobos, they wake up me for the holy day. Early hours of the morning, I know the UK, I was in Canada. They wake up me. Oh, Early hours. Oh, I wake well. up, answer that call. I sorted it out with the middle effect. I do everything they enter. Oh, same like other people. They it was through the same agent, Mr. Tambe, Pride, who had procured her own visa to the UK. So, in the midst of all of this, we all know on social media that Kobos and Mama Atalaku, they are very good friends. They share a bond, they are almost like sisters. So when this whole charade was going on, you all recall that Kobos was also involved in a kind of visa alleged scam some time ago and she was dragged also on social media. And when this whole thing came up, 
And when this whole thing came up involving Matalafu, they just immediately involved her, included her in the whole saga that she knows a lot, or she too was involved in all of this. And Mama Atalaku also quickly came in her rescue and said, Wuna leave Kobos out of this. She has nothing to do with this. Each time I have issues on social media, why do you guys always like to involve my friend Kobos in it? Kobos is not part of this whole thing. So you guys have better let her out of this whole shenanigans. She is not part of it. <laughs> and some social media in-laws, they were not satisfied at all. They were not satisfied with that statement. They said, this whole thing has been going on and Kobos kept mute. She said nothing. It was almost like she is not existing on social media anymore. <laughs> Some of the opinion that she cannot call out her friend Neo Christie because she is trying to be loyal to Christie. <laughs> that she wants to maintain their friendship and she is trying to prove loyalty. And to them, that was hypocrisy on Kobos' part. But it's good enough that Kobos didn't join the bandwagon to start badging her friend, personally speaking. That she didn't join the bandwagon to start badging her friend, Neo Christie, because she values their friendship. They've been together for a very long time and they know each other. And this social media, <laughs> if you're not wise, you are going to fight with the people who are going to help you tomorrow. That was how Kobo stayed mute and the whole thing was resolved. <laughs> Even when the whole thing was resolved, she made a post on her social media platform saying, It is now settled. Can we rest? <laughs> social media in laws, they still went under that post again and they were bashing her. <laughs> and see, we cannot rest, oh. <laughs> we cannot rest, oh, because people were putting comments. Oh, my auntie, my, my, my auntie, seven million. Oh, they've chopped my, my sister's money, seven million. I was the one who paid the money to MP. Hmm. Cobos, can we rest now? I've opposed how much Kobos give me. I know why the Jacob was guilty. Since we start, we start the lying. I never ever collect one person, fifteen baton. Never. We are close on our ears for all these noise makers. And I hear such a woman who has to say, "It be human right. It be this." Mommy, I beg, put petition. Put petition. Make a petition for UK. Might be when the petition come out. I show all the evidence too for, 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 for people that for petition. How I don't pay money. Where well, agent never give me. They will surely give back my money. Put petition, I beg you. Come when this starts to close your ears. I don't want to bring her in this because she has nothing to do with this. When I want to rock her inside a mess. Because any mess with my wife mess up, when I want to drag it in her inside. I don't do business calls. Me and Kobos were only being a sisterhood. When I forget all that noise with them, they make them. Because even if Kobos be genuine, if Kobos be genuine, if we can show how much he give me. For a family, a husband, wife, and the two beginning. Since we are start, when me and my mother start the thing, before God, we born me. We never ever. Take 15 baton for any person. Not to talk of Kobos. The person who goes down talk say, I take 15 baton for Kobos. Really? Really? When I leave Kobos' name out of this, yes. When I leave the family out of this. <sighs> so that was how Matt Laku quickly came in for her rescue and asked or urged everybody to keep. Kobos out of this. Do you think Kobos should have made a statement concerning this whole giveaway or concerning this whole saga concerning her friend Neu Christi? Do you think, in your opinion, do you think that it was the right thing for Kobos to have kept quiet or she should have joined the bandwagon to start dragging and calling her friend out? But to some other people, they are like, okay, Kobos tried to handle things in the background and not bring it on social media. And to me personally, that is something mature to do. When you have issues, you try to settle it at the background. You must not necessarily bring it on social media. Whatever your thoughts, your opinions concerning the subject matter, Kobos, Mama Atalaku, you can drop it down in the comment section. The third controversy that arose was a controversy that shocked everybody on social media. Everybody was almost taken aback. 
because this one <laughs> it sent cold chills down our spines when Delisis shared her story she had recounted how she reached out to grandmama and grandmama was also blocked <laughs> grandmama was blocked grandmama is also a very close member to this family every time they have maybe baby christening born house whatever she always flies from america to just be with the family and celebrate and be there with them <laughs> but this time around <laughs> she mama atalaku made a video and she did not even mention grandmama's name she just said the person in question but we could understand that she was talking about grandmama <laughs> There are rumors that they have this very heated misunderstanding and they had even blocked each other even before Dennis had reached out to Roy Mama. So that was the more reason why Roy Mama was unable to solve any situation. Shocking, right? <laughs> Social media, <laughs> shocking, right? You can see two people like this today and the next day <laughs> they are cats and dogs. don't want to see each other. <laughs> so Roy Mama... It was shocking for everybody to hear that they have issues and she had blocked them or they had blocked each other. <laughs> shocking, right? But they were strange when I will block and be yes. Because some people in the social media, I don't share a very good relationship with their way. That's if I can't drag them for yeah, I better block them for my sanity. I want to ever drag them. And the next person, Mama Atalaku recounted was DJ Sakis. According to Mama Atalaku, DJ Sakis was one of the very close friends to the family and she and he and Epie would speak on the phone, they would talk on the phone for very long hours. They were also making plans of how he wanted to bring his wife over to the UK. <laughs> but she, Mama Atalaku, was very shocked. She was so shocked that in the midst of all of this, DJ Sakis was the first person to put the last nail on the head. He was the last person they expected could make such an outing, calling them out that they must refund that money and that the money will not be lost. And he even went as far as asking a peer to go and render an apology to Delicy's mother. <laughs> apology for the cause, even though they say because it is a face we know. Whereas for to you, now it did the begin to, we are not concerned with that. Now you we know. It is you the child, the, 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 the lady knows. So you have to make sure you fix it and you owe her mommy a very big apology. She never ex maybe she, she never go to, 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 to plan one day to even be interviewed by police people. But because of traveling went wrong or whatever went wrong, you know, experience say, even go talk with police police, they say, mommy, you owe her a million, they won't lock you. According to what Delhi said that they lock her mother. Mama Talako also went for that to tell us where she knew his energy was coming from. Because at this very point in time, DJ Sakit is in America and he, he met with Roy Mama. So don't forget that they have a rift. They have a strange relationship already. So they must have said some certain things that must have prompted DJ Sakit to come out in that manner. <laughs> Displaying himself in that manner. Raising his voice, shouting at the top of his voice and asking them <laughs> to come and refund people's monies. They were so shocked. They were left in disbelief that DJ Sakis, every other person could have called us out. But not you, you, that your first platform that you built was taken down by Facebook because you posted something that was inappropriate. Then the second platform that you created, we were the ones who helped you build that platform. They were so shocked and they were left in disbelief that even if everyone had something bad or to call them out, was it wasn't it wasn't supposed to be you dj sakis mama Atalaku was shot to her marrows dj sakis i remember that way i call you i said dj sakis what did you do for comment section open page you say oh mama Atalaku, you just have your open page i don't get that hat though i said dj sakis you never comment section oh my god you know dj sakis go open page dj sakis you open page now me it's still there for my Facebook. Now maybe share your page first. We share your page until you reach four point something followers. 
You go post on mute, then deactivate your page. You come back. You can say, Atalaku, you don't deactivate that page. I say, wait, you say, post or you post until you're not supposed to post. I say, this is a case. Open new page. You go build them. Open new page. You go build them. Dr. Menjo, my highest enemy, my best friend enemy for this social media. I beg my only people one side. I shock DJ Sakis. Say now you be shout a piano. You way you be one use the very line. Bring your woman. You are a peer be the talk one hour, two hours, three hours for phone every day. I shock. So you be the first person who bring up a cross. Say what I tell him. Now peer this what I tell him. And the only animal I will call her because I know place where your energy will come out. I shock when they say, When are you the shout? When I nail them, now a pedis on a nail them. Now, whether plenty of people are the talk, matter of you'll be stingy when they promote people because I will promote you, only you who can crush me. I shock this is a case. You only I talk because you don't shock me pass. When I nail them, you carry a brother. When you are able to talk for the house almost every day, you can't study for from say when I nail them. But she couldn't, she couldn't hold herself or express her feelings and her emotions and let him know that that was exactly how she felt. The betrayal, no trust, no loyalty. She felt so betrayed the fourth controversy that arose from out of all of this saga in the crazy week that was was that mama atalaku and appeared their marriage came under serious attack <laughs> cameroonian canadian based comedian yaki bella Yaki Bella, remember she is one of the people that Delhi's show had reached out to trying to recover her money. But again, she did all she could, but she couldn't do so much. She is one of those people who took to her social media to call Mama Atalako and Epi fraud stars and even went as far as defining who a fraud star is. And even when Delhi show made a post thanking Daddy Epi to have refunded her money, she also took to her social media to call her out that why are you thanking a fraud star? He merely refunded what he had stolen from you. So <laughs> there is no need thanking, thanking a fraud star. Yaki Bella trolled, made fun of them, made so many posts and got all the engagements that she wanted on her page and Mama Atalako could not hold herself, but also address this issue. And she was like, Yaki Bella, I don't know what you will do for you. You have been trolling me and my husband. You've even been attacking my marriage. What did I do to you? <laughs> Bird, I hear how you carry a person now, you drag me, you call, you even bring my marriage inside. Yeah, that's fine. I know say, me for my heart, I know say you generate your income. And you think you the cash cruise. But there is time for everything. Have you forgotten that marriage is a beautiful institution that God created and the devil has been fighting to destroy marriages? <laughs> so they can come in any form. <laughs> Mama Atalaku. Mama Atalaku addressed the whole thing, calling Yaki Bella out, asking her questions. Why would you do that to us? I don't have any problem with you. But why would you do that? You called us thieves, scammers, fraudsters, and you went as far as attacking my marriage. Yaki Bella even went as far as saying that a piano woman married you, oh, <laughs> brother, <laughs> as you are sitting there like that, you don't even have mouth to talk, oh, because now woman married you. <laughs> she went so far as attacking their marriage. But Mama Atalaku again, immediately she came on social media and she addressed everything and she told everybody how Epi married her, paid her dowry in full without a dime left unpaid. <laughs> and I told give me up, give me down. You know, my motor. So tell her yesterday they even bring my, my marriage inside. Listen, I'm married to the best man on, on for for worldwide. I'm married. Listen, me and Epi will fight them all. If me if me and Epi explain, we'll fight them. You wanna know understand. 
yes guys they have come to the end of this video i like to keep my video short so it's not very long so you can watch till the very end so in our next video we will be talking about prophet Orok henry betang the role he played in this whole saga so let us know in the comment section whatever your thoughts your opinions are your feelings you can drop them down below in the comment section was it okay for social media in-laws to be attacking mama atalaku giveaways because they thought that she had been stealing from people or do you think that it is something inborn like she was born like that she is a giver and likes sharing with people do you think that it was okay for them to have attacked her giveaways Whatever your thoughts are, you can drop them down below in the comment section. And as for Kobos, do you think she should have joined the bandwagon to drag her friend, Neu Christie? Or do you think she was quiet because she wanted to be loyal, to maintain their friendship? And as for Roy Mama and DJ Sakis, tell us what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on the subject matter? Tell us, drop all your feelings, your thoughts down below in the comment section. And for Yaki Bella as well, whatever you feel. Feel free to drop it down below in the comment section. And trust me, guys, I will be bringing to you guys the other segment of the live video addressing Prophet Orok Henry Beta and Prophet Abiri. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please, if you like this video, do me a favor and give this video a very big thumbs up. Drop all your feelings, your thoughts in the comment section. And trust me, guys, I'll see you in my next one. Until then, stay blessed. And bye, guys. Bye.